we are transplanting so I'm going to let's turn you around here put these and I'm in the shade it's really hot I have a few more of these let me see if you can see them tomato plants I have one two three four of them and every night we go in there and we water them and every night they look like they're dying so it's really time as you can see they're growing fuzzies around the base here I'm going to bury them this deep in some bonnie pots that I save every time I buy a plant at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever um, I save these and now before we used to store them in the garage in a box but now I have the grow house and I've been storing everything under the um, planter beds oh shadows in the grow house I gotta get shadow out hold on I'll be right back he just hears me and he's looking for me he's trying to get out but um, <laughs> oh my baby so we have not only chicken wire along this, but we have some bird netting so nothing can get in there while we're not watching. So yeah, so as you can see under there, I store a lot of different um, plant essentials. I just moved the garlic from the small hoop house because it's too hot in there to the big hoop house. And we'll see how that works out. But back to planting here. So. Here I have a stack of Nature's Care. Um, then I got a Home Depot for about six bucks a piece. And there goes my shadow. Uh, and uh, I'm going to put them in here. I think I have ooh, four pots exactly and a little cup. <laughs> uh, later on in the season, I'm going to show you how I clone my tomato plants. Um, a lot of those plants were grown just like this and then after they got to a certain point and they were getting too big and I had to start staking them up what I did was I cut the tops I put them in these little jars that flowers come in I cut the lid I slit the lid and I put the, the stem in with some water then I put that in a dark place with with for two days and the, the plant looks like it's dying, but then two or three days later, boom, it'll grow roots, it'll come up, and you can clone the damn thing. Huh. One seed, and I must have cloned like four, four of those plants. The smaller ones were test clones, and I say test clones because I don't know what I'm doing, but I try, right? Um, and they are alive, they are thriving, they're all happy. Um, so, back to the transplant, right? <laughs> Um, I'm the only one here holding the camera, so I'm going to put you down for a second and I'm going to fill this with soil halfway. I'm going to pull out my plant here. Let's see if it can, if it comes out. Yeah, there we go. See it? I'm going to test and see how deep I have to put it. Yep, straight on the bottom. So I'm just going to hold it there and fill the pot with soil. And when I have all four of them, I'm sorry, but the chicken pecked the dog and she jump back all funny but then she she wouldn't hesitate to go back and bother them um okay and so when i have them all done i will put them in a dark space in the grow house as well and uh in two or three days i will find a place for them okay so i'll be back okay so here we go all four of them are in the pot and as you can see i'm going to fill the pot up to the neck of the tomato plant my son went to bring me scissors poppy those aren't scissors Come on, they're a little lower than that on the hooks. Um, and here is what I was talking to you about. See this little pod? This little pod had flowers that my daughter sent me for Mother's Day. And what I did was I filled it with water and I put in a piece of the tomato plant. Like this one, not... See, this one has hairs on it. You don't want to get those... What are those? The ones that they pinch off. Um, anyway, you don't want to get the ones that grow in between that they pinch off. Because I tried with those and, and it didn't work. You have to get the you have to pinch off the ones with little hairs on them. See, this one is a perfect specimen. I can put it in here, and in a few weeks it will have um, roots, and I can put it in this little thing with some soil. It'll grow more roots. 
and then uh, it would just grow um, so we will do that a little later on in the season uh, with the taller plants because uh, I, I like to get a nice thick stalk and the way you do that is you get a really thick one with hairs on it and then you put it in here and then you and then the way you take it out is I have this cut in half oh this one isn't cut I cut this down to this little circle there right it's just a slit and then you can pull it open and pull the plant out of there but again I'll show you later on in the season okay so I'm gonna get to planting these Alright guys, so there ends our tomato transplant. Um, I have all of them here. One, two, three, four. And uh, I'm going to leave them here in the shade for a little while. And then I'm going to come back and put them in the grow house. Right now my son is attempting to mow the lawn. He doesn't know how. He's never been taught. <laughs> so I'm going to go out and help him a little. Um, this patio needs to be cleaned. I don't have time to do it um, this weekend. Today's Sunday, but I will definitely get to it next week. We have to put lids on these compost bins because the dog's getting in there and eating everything. But for now, these have been transplanted. Everything I have has been transplanted into some kind of vessel of some sort. I will show you the front garden in a little while. Um, again, I gotta go. We gotta mow. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time and again please like my videos if you think someone would be interested in what I have going on here share press the like button if you liked my video and if you haven't already subscribe I'm gonna get better at this I promise okay bye bye Ellie say goodbye say bye bye <laughs>